So we know both parties want women to remain second class citizens. And in terms of the, um, you know, the issue, the trans issue, I think we ought to be very clear that um, neither party supports keeping women in second class citizenship because they want to keep women safe in bathrooms. You know, that's, that's not what they're thinking about. In the wake of the Supreme Court's decision in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, while the Democrats were weaponizing our interest in women's bodily integrity as a fundraising and get-out-the-vote strategy, the Green Alliance for Sex-Based Rights inaugurated its new political education series with a panel discussion featuring our, our own co-chair, Ann Menashe, and impact litigator, Wendy Murphy. They just want women to remain second-class citizens, period. The Democrats raised money on women's grief, distracting us with useless strategies like revoking ratification deadlines, which had lapsed four decades ago. Gaspar hosted a conversation exploring why those deadlines have no force of law to begin with under any honest reading of the U.S. Constitution. And the real reason is because there's an enormous amount of money being made from women's inequality, especially in the trillion dollar porn and sex trafficking industries that depend on women's legal subjugation to maintain high profit margins. It's always about money. I think we know right. that, right? You don't yes. have to be that yes. sophisticated to know that it's always about money, period. Uh, neither major political party supports women's full citizenship and full equal rights under any law. They just don't. We know this because, as Ann pointed out, both the Trump and Biden administrations fought against the ERA after it was ratified by the last necessary state in January 2020. The Trump and Biden administrations, they not only fought against it in my lawsuit and in the other lawsuit, they both blocked it. And, they are, and, and Biden is still blocking it today. Could he actually make the ERA part of our Constitution? Well, he said he supports it. I saw a statement that said he supports it. Send him money. We aren't that dumb. We are not that dumb. If we had better leadership, more of us would be less dumb. And that is a really important piece of what we're missing is effective leadership and pulling people away from the propped up, corrupted, co-opted women's groups that just magnetically attract money like they're doing something important rather than undermining my equality. I'm not suggesting we be violent about it, but we certainly have to be militant. And th there's no other choice but militancy, right? That directive under that came from the Trump administration, Bill Barr in particular, is still in place. Biden could mm, remove it right. with, a, with a pickup of a phone, you know, just remove it because he's the head of the executive branch. And the archivist is an executive right. branch official who reports to Biden. It's a phone call away getting the, the, the ERA in the Constitution. Biden has the power and he's refused to act and he's trying to blame Congress. It's a bunch of nonsense. Please sign our petition to President Biden demanding that he instruct the archivist to do her job and publish the ERA. It's a phone call away.